All right, let's talk some McCorkle Jones here. Uh, I thought that this was a good game. And one of the things I have to say right off the bat is that, and I said this basically in all of my Mac Jones film studies uh, heading into the draft, was that the film studies don't do him justice, these sort of you know YouTube clips. There's going to have to be a bit of, you're going to have to take my word for some of this, because what makes him so good is, isn't the fact that he makes these throws that nobody else can make because he doesn't. He makes throws that, you know, Andy Dalton can make that, you know, uh, I don't know, Ty- Tyrod Taylor can make. Like, he doesn't make these plays that you're blown away by. He makes these plays that uh, just consistently. He makes good plays consistently and he makes good reads consistently. I was very impressed with his football IQ in this one. I was, which is Crazy to say for a guy making his first start. Uh, people really didn't want to believe that this guy was smart, uh, it seems like, because, again, you, uh, I get it. Uh, but, you know, he's made some uh, really good plays. So let's just jump into the film study. And, again, I know 16 points. I know that's going to stand out. Let's also mention there were, you know, what, four times in the red zone where they only ended up with a total of nine points. So that's a huge aspect of it. But I thought that what he was asked to do, he did well. And let's jump into the film study and talk about that. So first, let's start off with this play, which is maybe the worst (laughs) first uh, pass a quarterback has ever had, including, you know, guys like Jameis Winston, Sam Darnold and Brett Favre all having pick sixes to start their careers. No, I think this one might be worse. I've never quite seen this. And I'm laughing because this play is absolutely hilarious. So what's going to happen is that it's a play action. You have a tight end who's going to, it's John New Smith who's going to roll out and he'll actually be blocking the blitzing defender. So that guy's blitzing on this play, the one in the black circle. And look at how right when this play starts. So there is pressure off the edge. And again, it's hard to know if I should really blame John New Smith on this because it, it was a blitz. So I don't know if it's really his fault. But you know, Mac Jones early on to this game is now under pressure. So let's play a game. Uh, what do you do when you're under pressure? Do you A, make a quick throw to a check down? Do you B, go down and take the sack? Do you C, throw the ball away? Or do you D, throw the ball backwards? <laughs> Look at how Mac Jones chooses D. He completely panics and just spikes it back into the ground where John U. Smith uh, makes the catch. It looks like they ruled this incomplete on the field. I don't know how you do that. It looked pretty clearly a backwards pass to me, good on John U. Smith. I, I think he was just trying to toss it back to John U. Smith, but then ends up throwing it directly into the ground. I, I have no idea. I, it's, he just he lost his mind. That's what happened. And listen, it does happen. Like sometimes you're in a pressure situation and you do something dumb. We saw Tom Brady do that last year where he you know threw the ball it got batted back to him and he threw the ball again right like sometimes you just you, you're not thinking and you do something kind of s- stupid uh that's what mac jones did i think he kind of just got turned around like he wanted to throw it uh you know throw it away towards john U. smith's feet but john U. smith happened to be behind him just a very bizarre play however after this in admittedly horrible play, he played great. So like right off the bat, you have this play. So it's going to be a, just a little pick play on third and six. I also thought that this was a, a good uh, game plan. Josh McDaniels, I thought, did a did a good job throughout this one. So anyways, cover one man play. You have uh, a pick play on the line. So this can work on a third down and six and watch what happens. So, you know, Jones takes a snap and you see that this is about to get open. But what I like about it, and again, this is going to be something that is a little bit difficult to show on a film study. So you'll have to take my word for it is he was just hitting these open guys consistently. I mean, look, he just, you know, makes that throw and they're able to pick up a big gain like that. It's just that stuff where when he has a guy open, he's just hitting him consistently. It's important to be an accurate quarterback, and Mac Jones is very accurate. You have something like this, which I liked as well. So one of the things he did a really good job of, I thought, was, and you know, on my podcast, if you listen to that, Kyle uh, pointed this out on the podcast, and then when I took a deeper dive, I really noticed it, was he noticed blitzes very well. And this play is a good example of it. I have another example I'll show after it, but it's going to be a cover zero blitz. And you can see, just looking at the play, Okay, this is going to be some sort of blitz, probably. They're showing blitz right here. There is no safety over the top. And so you have a receiver running a deeper route over the middle, and Jones is going to do the right thing here. I mean, look at how there's a blitz. So he takes a couple steps back and just fires one up, you know, puts some air under it, and allows a receiver to have a chance on this play. And one thing that is worth mentioning is New England... They don't have the best receiving core. They were going up against, uh, you know, the Miami Dolphins 
secondary so it made it look a little worse but they weren't getting guys open completely consistently but when they were I thought Jones did a good job and I also thought he was giving his receivers a chance which is what you want like look on this one Myers isn't quite able to haul it in it was good defense that's not really on Myers that's a good defensive play but still it goes to show the point of like you know when guys aren't getting open, when the secondary is playing well, the quarterback isn't going to look as good, but I still thought he looked very good. So then we have something like this. So this is another great example of, uh, well, you know, I'll let you see it for yourself a little bit. So you see uh, the player who I've circled, the Miami Dolphins defender, just watch what he's going to do and watch his whole body language. Look at how he's communicating and then watch him kind of step up a little bit. So Clearly, you know what's happening, right? He's blitzing. Uh, and you can tell that, by the way, not only was he blitzing, you know, not only has he stepped up closer to the line, but he also communicated with the player further deep. Hey, make sure you cover the receiver that I'm faking as though I'm covering. And then he takes a couple of steps in. So again, Miami is, it's a hell of a defense to have to go up in your first start. And I think we should mention that with Jones as well, because just how creative Flores is, it's usually a rookie's nightmare to go up against a defense like this, but not for Jones. Notice how he recognizes the blitz and just throws it to where the blitz is. And this one didn't end up getting a ton of yards, only about, you know, uh, maybe four yards. So it's not like this crazy play or anything, but it's just little stuff like that. And they, that will turn into bigger yards more consistently. That was good defense to keep it only four yards. And it was a good read by Mac Jones. And it's what the Patriots want to do. So all of that stuff, really good. And then there was this play, maybe his best throw of the night. He had some good ones. This is going to be a third down and 11, so kind of a big play. It's man coverage, again, with a single safety deep. It's a cover one hole concept right here. So with a halfback running a wheel route, this is something that can work against this coverage. You know, there's only one safety deep, so the sidelines typically can be open unless a safety reads the play and gets over. But the chances are the safety isn't, I mean, not, not even the chances are. There's just no chance the safety is worried about the halfback on this play. That's not what he's thinking about. He's going to be thinking about probably the three receivers to the offense's left. Uh, so this is almost a guarantee to be a pure one-on-one -on -one matchup. And so that's why Jones is going to look that way. And so, right when this play starts, you're going to notice that. So, at this point, Jones has to make his decision. And that's kind of one of the issues with these kind of routes, right? Is you have to make this your decision before the player you want to throw it to is open. And I think that, you know, on one hand, you could argue, well, there is a bit of luck involved. And, yeah, there is. I mean, there is a bit of luck involved in football. That's true. But it's also just, you know, kind of similar to poker in a sense of it's an odds thing. You make these throws that are high percentage chances of working and they're going to work a high percentage of the time even if that means that it won't work all of the time and look as you see it's just a beautifully accurate throw good catch as well by James White so you know both did well on that play uh you know good route by James White but again that's why you throw it to James White you know that that's a mismatch when uh, you have a linebacker covering him so that's why Jones did that so yeah I mean listen again I know I, I feel like it's really hard to make a film study talking about someone like Mac Jones be just because of the nature of how he plays, but I, I do still feel like he played very well, and again, it's just the overall consistency where you can look at a bad play here or there, and again, that first play was one of the worst plays I've ever seen from him. I mean, that was, again, that looked like a Jameis Winston type play. Uh, that was just uh, horrific, quite frankly, but after that, uh, I thought he played just fantastic, and he probably had, I mean, he did have the best of the rookie quarterback performances by far. And he had a tough task. I mean, he had a, certainly a tougher task than Trevor Lawrence. And you could argue he had a tougher task than, uh, you know, Zach Wilson. Although, again, Zach Wilson had a tough surrounding cast around him. Whereas, uh, you know, for Mac Jones, better surrounding cast, but also going up against a better defense. So, uh, however you want to quantify it. But regardless, Really good performance from Jones. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Were you as impressed as I was with Jones? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.